Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. Welcome. This is One on One, my good friend and radio colleague, Al Gattulo, host of Al Gattulo Craft Beer Cast, AM 970, Saturdays at what time? 8 o'clock. What's your thing in beer? Ever since I know you, not only are you a great newsman um, on the Piscopo in the morning, morning show, show, right? That's right. From 1 to when is it? 6 that? to 10 a.m. Monday through Friday. What time do you get up for that? Uh, about 3 o'clock. No joke. No joke. You got to be ready. Always. Newsman is one thing, mm -hmm. but an expert on everything about beer, where'd that come from? Well, I don't know about an expert. I never want to call myself an expert because there's always a learning experience. You're an aficionado. Aficionado. That's, that's a better term. But I uh, uh, love drinking beer over the years, and uh, the craft beer scene has had its ebbs and flows. Uh, started in the mid-'80s with Sam Adams, Sierra Nevada, and then uh, moved on in the 90s. They had a, a big craft beer explosion, and then there was a bubble. It burst. Uh, craft breweries were not as... Uh, Plentiful, let's say. Right. Um, mm -hmm. In the 2000s, started to come back around again. And uh, in the great state of New Jersey, we started to see a resurgence. A couple of breweries in New Jersey in the uh, mid-90s were sustaining uh, the beer scene. Uh, but then uh, all of a sudden, within the mid-2000s, started to explode, and you started to taste these different things. Anybody can drink a Budweiser or a Coors Light. But in the end, when you want to try something that's fresh, tasty, delicious, makes you want to have more than one, craft beer is the way so to go. hold on a second. Yeah. Um, guys, tell me if I can do this. Al just mentioned, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of beers. I told him that I, I'm a light beer drinker because, you know, every pound is a problem. So um, can I say H light? Can I say H light? Everyone knows H, you know what sure. it is. And the other one, if I can't get that, it's mm. the other one right. with an A. With an A. Light. Light, yeah. You made a face when I said that I to did. you. Compared to what you bring in, is my stuff boring? Yes. I'll tell you why. Because it's chemicals. It's not fresh. It's not, it's not straight from the farm right into your beer. That's the difference. It's a better taste, it's cleaner, it's refreshing, and you don't wake up with a hangover the next day. Whoa, give me the hangover part. I need to hear well, this. Well, listen, anything you drink in excess, obviously yeah. you're gonna no, have we're, No excess here, guys. Right. Moderation. But you want something that tastes good, that in the, in the morning, you're not waking up with a headache. Craft beer does that. But what? what? Because of the ingredients that they put in it. It's not homogenized and processed and over and over again. This, this particular beer, for example, Which one? Uh, this one right here from Screaming Hill Brewery, okay? It's called Wheat Did You Say. This is all New Jersey, 90% of the ingredients Jersey. on the farm. Jersey? On the farm, right past Six Flags Great Adventure. Love Can't it. beat it. What was the other one, Georgette? <clears throat> what's one in Rahway? Who did, what's oh, the one in Rahway, that is uh, Wet Ticket Brewing. Uh, th this guy has a great scene. He's six stops off of New Jersey Transit if you're coming in from the city. He's in the old Woolworth building in Rahway, revitalizing Rahway. Rahway had terrible times. Uh, this guy makes a great, delicious, fresh beer. There's uh, food options that you can go and get something to eat and come back and sit in the brewery. He is just killing it in Rahway. By the way, describe, uh, so when I said Al and our colleagues, not only have I worked with Al on the morning show, right. but we have a... Check it out. We have a new Sunday, 2 p.m. You right. heard about our new show? Yes, I heard about your new show. The Leadership Lessons in Hour. Leadership. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's based on our book. And, and, and by the way, State of Affairs, our other series is on the back end of that as well. So 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. on uh, Sundays on AM 970. Not that I'm plugging. Uh, but your show mm -hmm. is a different time and a different focus. Go ahead. That's right. <clears throat> it's Saturday nights, 8 o'clock. We focus on craft beer. But it's, it's more than craft beer. It's... Uh, there are spirits involved. We do, we do uh, talk about vodka. We talk about uh, gin, rum, wine. But not only that, it's the experience. When you're, when you're drinking with friends, what are you normally doing? Talking. You're listening, talking, you're listening to music, you're telling stories. That's what we're trying to do. But the other part of the show, it's about small business. Small business is the lifeblood of America. And without small business, it, you, you just you don't have it. You, don't, you just don't have it. Uh, the, the breweries in New Jersey, all of these people that are represented here on the table, from north to south, all of it is small business. It's about making a better life for themselves, make better life for their community. Mm. And, and that's kind of what the breweries are. Like wet ticket, as I used an example. What about the, what was it, the, the, the boardwalk one? Forgotten boardwalk. Forgot, forgotten boardwalk. What They're based awesome out name. of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. <laughs> and it's all kind of that theme of the Jersey boardwalk, the Jersey Shore, right? right. So, but, but more Is that female owned? Yes, female owned. Just checking. Community. It's about getting people to come in, sit around, hey, what's going on in the town? How's things going? It's kind of the old community hall, except it's a brewery now. And you're sitting around and you're having a beer or two or you're trying the latest thing or whatever it is, and you're having a conversation. Did you ever think, out of all the years, you've been a broadcaster in mm -hmm. sports, news, you're one of the best in the business. 
Did you ever think, and I know this is a, you are an aficionado, go back to that word. Right. Did you ever think you could actually build an entire broadcast around this theme? No. I, I honestly, I didn't. Well, did you come up with the idea and go to management and say, I have an idea? Yes. And the funny part about it was... It was there our mutual friend, Jerry? Uh, our mutual friend, Jerry, who said... Jerry, run, Jerry Crowley runs the operation. Right. Good. But the funny part was, was that it all started at the community pool at my house. Get out of here. There's a community pool in town. So I'm sitting there. It's a 90-degree day. I'm getting ready to go in the pool. There's a little problem. Somebody had an accident. Okay. A friend of mine was coming. He says, what are we going to do? I said, why don't you come back to my backyard? I got a couple of new beers. Let's try them. We go in, we have a couple of beers. I tweet a picture of the beer. This is the power of social media, too. I tweet a picture of the beer. The brewery, who I, I tweeted out to, two minutes later, they start following me, send me a direct message, say, we love that we're getting some East Coast representation. What's your address? We'd love to send you some stuff. I send them a, a, my address. A couple days later, I got a box of beer, T-shirts, all kinds of stuff in the house. My friend, same neighbor, says to me, you should do a beer show about it. I completely ignore him. <laughs> A couple months later, I'm doing some YouTube videos, kind of just talking about the beers I that I'm tasting them. or whatever. Okay. Uh, one of our sales guys at work loves it, sees it, goes to Jerry, says, let's do it. We're at our Christmas party. Jerry comes up to me and he Jerry, says... Jerry is general manager. Jerry is our, right, our, our boss. So uh, he comes up to me. He says, Al, I love the idea. Let's get it done. I said, Jerry, it's our Christmas party. Tell me on Monday that you like the idea and I'll do it. He came in on Monday. He says, as long as you can sell it, you can do it. Two months later, we were on the air. It's just interesting. You got to do the sponsor thing. You got to bring mm -hmm. in the money. To make... That's right. So you, you've learned to be, talk about business. You've learned to be a really good business person. I try. I, look, I, I try to be as honest as I can and as forthright as I can with people. Um, I'm going to sell your product, whatever that product is. One of our first sponsors was a guy uh, called Nuts for Drinks. It was nuts specifically tailored towards craft beer. He had four different <clears throat> flavors of nuts, and you could pair them with an IPA or a lager or whatever. Yeah, dude, real quick, IPA yeah. is India Pale Ale, <clears throat> which is one of the most popular styles. What's in the difference between that and uh, what did you say, uh, stout? Stout. What's stout is it? Well, a stout is usually a stronger beer, chocolate, coffee flavors. That's more of a nightcap kind of beer, dessert beer mm -hmm. after dinner. Uh, IPA is a very popular style, very bitter, great with spicy foods, um, but a high alcohol content too. One of the greatest things about you, other than the fact that you are good at what you do and wish you nothing but the best with the show. By the way, Saturdays at Saturdays at 8 p.m. AM 970. The answer. you were very public about uh, a process that you've gone through in your life to get healthier. Yes. After a real health scare. Yeah. And dealing with cancer, you had, uh, I can't say it because it's uh, the PBS, you had a, an amazing slogan, blank yes, cancer. Yes, which I got um, tattooed on my arm, but we won't, okay, we won't tell people that. Don't show the tattoo. No, we're not. We're, we're, okay. Your positive attitude about life, appreciating life, your health and everyone around you, where did it come from? You know, um, it came from my mom, to be honest with you. My mom and dad got divorced when I was 13. Uh, she had a little bit of a tough go of it um, and ended up having to go back to work at 54, had to go back into the workforce and, um, you know, start working again in New York City. And always remember, no matter what, she got up, went to work, did her job. My dad, the same thing, you know, got up, went to work, did his job. I always felt like, you know, listen, when you're told that you have cancer, it's scary. It's a scary thing. And I had my little emotional moment, told my son what was going on. My wife knew about it already. She's a nurse. She knew before me. I, I found out through, uh, you know, through her. And um, I said, you know what? You just got to fight it. Whatever it is, you can fight it. You can beat it and move on. And, and the, I didn't ever miss a day of work. You did not. I, I <clears throat> never called in sick. And believe me, there were days I got up and said, maybe I should just stay home and go to sleep. But I, my motto was, if I could get my legs out of bed and I could get up and go downstairs, I could go to work. You have no idea how many people you helped through those social media posts that I read Every day, and um, you motivate a lot of people who are dealing, <clears throat> excuse me, out with some tough stuff. Thank you, my brother. You got it, Steve. Anytime. Thank All you. Uh, Saturdays, 8 p.m., AM 970. Check that out. And in the mornings as well. With, what's the guy's name? Joe Piscopo. That guy. And Frank Morano. Yeah, well. Yeah, they're good yeah. guys. Um, <laughs> and, and, and Debbie on the Debbie traffic. Debbie on the All right, traffic. enough plugging. Uh, we'll be back right after this on one-on-one. <laughs> Construction companies work at the heart of our communities. So do the operating engineers of Local 825, who build our roads and bridges and ensure the safe transmission of energy that keeps us on the move. Local 825 works with contractors as partners in quality, safety, and training. Our achievements stand as monuments to collaboration that will last for generations. This message has been brought to you by the members of Operating Engineers Local 825. Better building begins here. Also brought to you by Rowan University and by 
the Nicholson Foundation, supporting Right from the Start NJ.